welcome to <coughs> Sankt Ignatius uh, Digital Open Days for today and tomorrow. <coughs> Sankt Ignatius is a unique institution for its composition, content and goals. We strive toward training future priests, deacons and deaconesses, as well as scholars, with a special orientation towards the Eastern Christian world, wherever they exist, whether in Eastern Europe, the Middle East, Northern Africa, Asia, America, or as we are in Western Europe. Cyclops College, which is part of St. Ignatius overall enterprise, consists of four theological seminaries. The Coptic Orthodox Theological Seminary, the Syriac Orthodox Theological Seminary, the Byzantine Orthodox Seminary, and the Tevahedo Orthodox Seminaries, which are subdivided in an Ethiopian part and an Eritrean part. We say that we are consisting of theological seminaries. So, Theology is the basis of what we are uh, offering people that are applying to our school. One can ask for the question, more foundational question, what theology is. I would say that in our institution, theology is not just knowledge about church history, about church fathers and so on. No, theology is much more. It consists both of a practical side and a theoretical side both of an academic side as well as a spiritual and a worldview coming with the churches. <clears throat> Saint Ephraim the Syrian says, truth and love are inseparable wings. Truth without love cannot fly. With this simple sentence, Ephraim the Syrian is explaining that the Christian uh, faith and the Christian life is based on two pillars, truth and love. Truth is the object that uh, is hidden in history, revealed through scholarly methods, and presented through theses, books, articles, and lectures. Love is something different, but it belongs to theology as an enterprise. Love is much more than uh, truth. It's completely different even from truth. It expands into the community and into the relationship that people uh, claim to have with God or the concept of God. Love is an inseparable part of theological training. Theologic training consists both of a theoretical part that is done in academies, like in universities or other higher educational institutions. But theology also belongs to what is done in seminary training. And thereby, our school is trying to make the best of two educational forms. Seminary training, which has its focus on love and academic studies, which has its focus on the truth. In the seminary training, the students learn to listen with an active ear. They learn to describe and give back the words correctly to the one that they have listened to. They learn to talk with humility with a way that is conveying hope, love, and sometimes also faith. They learn to read and speak in the sense that they are training themselves in classical languages, but also learn to read books in a more effective way. They learn to pray in the seminaries how to conduct prayer individually, and how to conduct prayers together in the community. They learn to care. What does it mean to walk by a homeless? What are the thoughts and emotions that 
we are bringing with us and these encounters in the society. What is the role of a church in these encounters? In the end, seminary training is about to understand both in practical terms and in theoretical terms, the core foundation of a Christian faith as love. To be a theological school, not just an academic school, means that the conversation about the concept and the content and the practice of love has to be the core value of a theological institution. And for me saying this, sitting on the academic side of the school, it means that I extends a strong arm into the seminary world saying that the academy without the seminary life would be theologically impossible. In the academy, we learn to, students learn to use critique as a vehicle for progression. Could it be different? Could we have another vision more effective? Is this really the heritage of our Orthodox Church? Does this belong to the nature of a church? Or, it, or is it just part of a scaffold holding up the church? Are these traditions with a capital T or a minor T? What kind of methods can we use to discern between major and minor issues? What values are we built upon in the Christian tradition? What are values? These are the critical questions that the academy raises, which influences, improve, and actually reveal the core content of Christian faith, Christian understanding, and human understanding as such. In the practical life, living in the seminaries, which most of our students live the first one or two years in the seminary, they learn mutual respect. They learn to show humility. They learn to cooperate together. In a kind of collaborative learning, they, they aspire things that they realize they cannot aspire and reach on their own, but together in the community. Through the theological seminars, a common spiritual life in, in the school is developed, which is characterized by the respect for uniqueness of each tradition, and also respect of, uh, of lacking unity, but to respect each other, even on the way towards unity. The seminars are the point of contact also between our school, St. Ignatius, and congregations, patriarchies, and dioceses of the world. It is through the seminaries that we reach out to the world, and it's through the life of the seminaries that the future of leaders are trained in our school. I, as a dean of St. Notius Foundation, College, and Focus Kula, and the Department of Eastern Christian Studies, view scholarly research and practical training in the life of future leaders in the seminaries as two sides that cannot be without the other. This makes our school interesting. Like most of the theological seminaries that has made this combined education or combined programs of education, but we both have a seminary training and academic training. The special task of a seminary therefore is to integrate new knowledge with the person and through the person bring about the change at both individual and the social level to change their churches through how they integrate their knowledge. This creates a culture of emancipation and a culture of participation in the parishes for these future leaders. 
our leaders are supposed to bring with them emancipation and participation as a mark of their education and their way of being leaders. This is characterized already in our school, where we have a democratic way of working with our students, with a close cooperation between teachers and students, where the person and the group are at the center with knowledge as a tool. The studies, therefore, in our school is very conversation-based and formative. The discourse is linguistic, with the spoken word as a primary tool, characterized by social interaction, where the difference between the students, between the teacher and the student, give rise to formative discussions that not only reflect on new knowledge, but also on what this means for the individual and the group's life and thinking. To become a leader means that you have to release your will. But you release your will in a way that <clears throat> you can release the will of the community. This is the vision we have for our future leaders. Emancipation, where the individual will is connected with the collective will. Where we not just train our students to understand the different Christologies, but also raise the question how we could reach unity. But even more and more important for our students, if we want to reach unity, and if we want to, how can we make others join that effort? Releasing the will for the sake of emancipation of the individual and the community is our hallmark for what we mean by theological training. When knowledge serves an overall task of a liberation of a church. Liberation, then liberating the church from the bonds of this world's destructive parts for the sake of this world's future uh, with balance and an environment that still is a capable of preserving with a full human life. I welcome you all to our school and these digital days and hope that you will find that your vision can be joined to our vision. That we together, you as students, we as teachers, and together can develop the churches and the communities of the future. Welcome.